Hi everybody, my name is Michael Levan and today we're going to be looking at spinning up an AKS cluster which is Azure Kubernetes Services with the Software Defined Infrastructure or some people call it Infrastructure as Code. So as you can see here on my screen I have VS Code up and I have my playbook here. I have my connections which is localhost and local. The reason why I'm doing that and not specifying an inventory file is because I'm going to be running this in the cloud shell right in Azure. I have my variables here setting up my resource group, my location or my region, my name, my username, my public key. Please don't paste the private key in here. This should be for public keys only. And then you'll see here the client ID and the secret ID. This actually isn't good practice. I'm only doing this for the demonstration of this video, but this should ideally be in some sort of vault, uh, possibly Ansible vault, uh, whatever you prefer. Uh, also here we have our K8S version which is our Kubernetes version that we'll be using our API. We're going to be using 1.13.7. Here we have task number one, which is to create the resource group if it doesn't already exist. And then the second task here is to create the cluster itself. So this is the module or the library we'll be using to do that. And as you can see here, this is pretty much calling all of our variables. Just hard coded the DNS prefix in here. And then we have our service principle stuff that again, we're calling from the variables, our agent pool, which is defining how many VMs we want and the VM size, and then our tags as well. So let's go ahead and move over to the Azure portal. So now that we're in the Azure portal, I have my cloud shell up here. And for simplicity's sake, I already went and copy and pasted the, the tech snips playbook in here. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna kick this off. And this is going to go ahead and it's going to run through the Ansible checks. It's going to gather facts. It's going to confirm the inventory. And this should just take a few minutes here. And as we can see, it looked through it gathered the facts for local host. It went and it either created the resource group or it confirmed that it already existed. And while this is running, because this can actually take about 15 to 18 minutes from what I've seen. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna find our virtual machines here. We wanna see if it's actually doing anything. So it's not spinning up anything just yet. So let's go ahead and move over to the Azure Kubernetes services. And as we can see here, the VMs haven't started to be spun up yet, but the Kubernetes cluster has. So we'll go ahead and we'll wait for this to finish. And besides that, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching.